Good, Good morning. morning, happy last morning on board. It's beautiful outside today. It is, we are floating around. We're gonna be going into the dippy part of Washington, as I always mm -hmm. call it, not sneaking into that Canadian crack. So. The ship's too big. I guess so. Yeah. So we are out in the ocean, just rolling along. Not too bad. We're gonna get some breakfast to start our day. Yep. Surprise. And then there's some stuff going on later, like the voice of the ocean. We got some rehearsals and things yeah. like that. Right before it, like one o'clock. So yeah. That'll take a good chunk of the day, yeah. I think. But anyway, breakfast now. Mm -hmm. Let's get it started. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, they're having officers versus guests ping pong challenge. Mustn't get distracted. We are here for all that food. Breakfast success. Up next, it is time for Voice of the Ocean rehearsals. Oh, there's a cute little arcade over here that we never really looked at. Air hockey and stuff. This is the voice. Oh, the gang is heading backstage. I'm not going to record this because we'll save it for the actual show, which is coming up later this afternoon. Oh, that's right. They run rehearsal with the chairs, too, so they can test, make sure people don't get freaked out by the noise. Oh, they're doing the family fun fair today. Back into the Princess Theater. Oh, they gave me some reserve space right here on the front row. I mean, they did it for all the competitors, but you know, we are here for Voice of the Ocean. We are going to get some real close views from up here. Earlier on in the cruise, we went out in search of the best singers on board. We had our audition very early on, and then we've had our selected singers go through a grueling rehearsal process <laughs> to get them ready for your performance here this afternoon. We are going to have our three coaches sat in those chairs facing outwards. Once they hear something that they like, they're going to hit that button that says, I want you to have that chair rotate to see what they're looking at. Now, no looky loo. This is going nowhere very fast. Oh my gosh. Please don't encourage them. I wasn't going to turn at first, and then I realized it's now or never. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the phone, Nelson. Yes! <laughs> the team gentlemen. <laughs> The hard part is all done and yeah. all out the way there. How does it feel after like performing to over a thousand people out there? Oh, it's fantastic. I can go eat something now. <laughs> <laughs> you went delicious. Thank you. <laughs> you like what I did there? No one even clapped. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Dee, you were brilliant. Um, Black Velvet is a really hard song to sing, so you did really, really well. But what I was doing, I was actually helping this uh, Instagrammer. Uh, she was a cook, and that's what the connection was. It was really interesting, because uh, she specialized in cakes. And her name was actually Black Velvet Cheesecake. <laughs> the way that you were singing, it really uh, it helped me in tears. It was absolutely beautiful. And uh, you took a whisk with that song, and I think you should definitely know that. I see what you're doing there. Yeah. I couldn't. Well, I'm a sucker for puns, so I'm going to have to go with Kevin. We got Team Kevin getting his first vocalist of the competition. Well done. I'm glad you didn't do the Bob Dylan version. Have you ever to make you feel my love? <laughs> you didn't do that. I'm glad. I'll have to go to Mike. You're going to Mike. And I'm the one who needs. It's such an iconic song. Yes. Everybody knows every word and every note of that song. But you really did do it your way. It was lovely. Mike. 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 Sit down. I love you. I want you on my team. You I really turn do. for every single person. So walk the good. <laughs> so good. I'm gonna go Kevin. Yeah, All right, see you, Kevin. <laughs> I 
feel like we're kindred souls. I mean, we're about the same height. You're maybe a little taller than me, but uh, you have, I have a toupee, so <laughs> I would look exactly like your head if I didn't have this on. So, trust me, we're twin souls. I'll, I'll go with Kevin. All right, we got Kevin! Now coaches, you are going to have to select one vocalist to take them through. I choose John! <laughs> I haven't asked you yet. I think that I have to go with uh, just the person that was like the most versatile. And uh, I hate letting anyone down. I'm gonna take D on this one, so. But I think overall, I think both were amazing. I really think these were the two best singers, in my opinion. Uh, but I think Jerry is going to be the one that's going to move on. But thank you so much. For You'll only get 10 seconds to place your vote. People, are you ready? Well, here we go. Let's count down from three, two, one. And your voting line is now open. You've got 10 seconds on the clock. No, we do have the trophy ready. And now the trophy isn't worth a lot of money, but it is very heavy. So if you're taking a long flight, uh, good luck to you. So our winner of The Voice of the Ocean, with 54% of their vote, is John! Our big winner for today, give them a big round of applause. And let's hear it for all of our vocalists here today. Come on out here, singers. You deserve to take another bow. Thank you for coming, and bye-bye. What is this giant glowing thing in the sky? Oof, the weather today is bright and gorgeous. We'll come back to the cabin to prepare for dinner. We have a bit of a special dinner this evening. Good evening. Good evening. It is dinner time already, I know. Ready for the food. whole day has pretty much been consumed <laughs> by voice of the ocean. I'm sorry. But, hoo -hoo. It was good, yeah, it was a really oh, great. The light just turned off back oh. there. It's that motion light in the closet. It was a really great group of singers, a lot of fun to mm. be a part of. I was extremely nervous, I'm not even lying. So, that was good. I had fun and accomplished what I wanted to, so that was good. That was great. Now we are going to run to dinner. There is a specialty restaurant on here called Harmony, mm -hmm. which is, I guess, like a Chinese food menu, which I love. It's unique to this ship. As far as I know. Okay, yeah. I figure if it's unique to this ship, maybe we can try it, even though we never did get into Rudy's to catch. They have it on other ships, it's okay. <gasps> nice. Yeah. <laughs> so dinner. And we'll go. see what happens after that. Heck yeah. <laughs> So right here on deck five by Shore Excursions is Harmony. I am ready for some cuisine. Nothing like a little espresso martini action. <laughs> well, we got some tunes down here in the piazza now.
If you sit on the floor during that presentation, there are going to be waiter booties in your face. But that was awesome. And they worked so hard, so that was awesome, and they get the recognition that they deserve. So good job, Princess. Booties. <laughs> and now we've got a different group performing tunes down here. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Hey y'all. Vancouver. It is debarkation morning. We forgot to say goodnight last night. <laughs> we're very sleepy. And we are ready to roll off of here and get some breakfast and move on. Now we're doing some logistical stuff today. We're we're actually flying home out of Seattle tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we are bussing ourselves down using the Greyhound Flix bus service like we did to get up here. Yeah. Just no good flight times from Vancouver for us today. Yeah. So so it's easier for us to go down to Seattle. Now we've had some um, Greyhound bumps <laughs> along the way. We'll get into all that. So we're going to save all of our final thoughts, yes. wrap up some Greyhound story time um, until we get home. Yeah. And, and some coffee. Yeah. All that. <laughs> so for now, we'll see you in a little bit. Well, yeah. we're going to go grab some breakfast and stuff mm -hmm. and then it's talkie time. So come see on. See you in a second. <laughs> And now it is time for In the Shower with Jay, Majestic Princess Edition. So this is a pretty decently shaped shower curtain unit. A little thicker on one end than some of the other princess showers that we've seen. Got the old on-off and the temperature control conveniently marked with uh, Celsius numbers there so you can know what you're doing. Removable, adjustable, up and downy shower head. Water pressure left a little to be desired, but we put this thing on like jet mode and it was okay. Clothesline, uh, not a whole lot else to see in here. We do have the soap, shampoo, little grab bar. Snack shelf is great for tall stuff. Big old packages like Slim Jims and pretzel rods and stuff. Just don't get them wet. Plus, you got a bonus shelf. Hey, that's blurry. Okay, there's a bonus shelf down here, which is great for like supplemental snacks. There we go. So overall, pretty nice. <laughs> Camera, there we go. So there's actually a good amount of room once you're in here for getting down, making sure everything needs, you know, as clean as it can be. So let's go ahead and give this one a rating, shall we? Nice. There we go, deck six and deck seven were the gangways today. Wow. Oh, the taxi flat rates, there we go, $15 including Pacific Central Station, which is where we are going, or 38 bucks to the airport. Well, that's handy, they just give you a stall number, so they go stand there and then enroll the taxis. And well, we made it to Pacific Central Station, so this is home to Amtrak. Oh, they have Hertz, rent a car, Greyhound, all sorts of stuff here. They've got a Lego replica in here, and an orange. All aboard! Hey y'all, we are coming to you from the future. We do that a lot lately. <laughs> yeah, well in the future. So we need to wrap up and give final thoughts on this whole princess experience. Now one big thing I know we did not talk about that last night and forgot is Harmony Restaurant. Yeah. How'd you feel about your meal? Overall the food was good, the service was amazing. Um, I don't know if I feel like the price you pay is 
the quality is as good as like other specialty restaurants that they offer. It is unique, I think, to this ship specifically. I don't know of it on any other princess ships. Um, it was good, but it wasn't specialty restaurant pricing for yeah. me. Yeah. I think it was a $39 restaurant, yeah. which, yeah, like you said, great food, but it wasn't really like specialty, specialty food for some reason. Yeah. And maybe it was just an off night. I don't know. I don't know, but I mean, I had a perfectly <laughs> lovely meal. Yeah. But anyway, um, a princess overall in Alaska. How about that? We've been waiting a long time to try Princess in Alaska because we've heard that they're one of the best. And it did not disappoint, I'll no. tell you that. They definitely had the theming, the menus, the mascots, <laughs> like uh, different parties and things like that. And then the Northern Lights, like with the music upstairs. Mm -hmm, the conservatory. The cookies and the cocoa. I mean, they just, they went all out. And, and I know they offer really great shore excursions as well. We didn't do any of those, mm -hmm. but they have very unique excursions for Princess. True. Yeah, you know me, I've said it. I'm a sucker for <laughs> theming. So like having the night at the Yukon party where yeah. everybody puts on their lumberjack outfits and having the Alaska menu items, that's the kind of stuff I look for. Mm -hmm. It's kitschy. But I love it. Yeah, the only thing I regret we didn't show very well was oh. Glacier Bay and like the rangers and stuff. That's true. Um, because we were enjoying it on the balcony. <laughs> but if we do it again, we'll show you how that all works. Because yeah. they do a good job of that as they well. They set up like a station upstairs yeah. and they have, anyway. Side note, we should mention. If you oh, do yeah. Princess in Alaska, try to make sure you get Skagway. We did not have that. And you get puppies in the piazza. If you're into puppies. <laughs> I'm into puppies. Who's not into puppies? Well, there we were so looking forward to that. We're like... Oh yeah. yeah, we don't <laughs> no have Skagway. Skagway on the southbound. <laughs> so anyway, if you get Skagway on Princess, yeah. It was still excellent though. Like if you've ever been to St. Thomas and they have parrots in the piazza, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Or pipers. Oh yeah, the pipers in the piazza. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, I guess that was about it. Any other words for the actual cruise? It was great, yeah. <laughs> That's, That's just my true. overall thought. You've seen it. You saw how we enjoyed it. The only other thing I had on the list to talk about was Greyhound because I had teased that. Uh, we got off the ship in Vancouver and we took the Greyhound bus service. We used Flix bus on the way up and Greyhound on the way um, down. Mm -hmm. They're both sort of controlled by Greyhound or you book them through Greyhound. At least I did. The southbound trip, we had more problems. Like we would book it and we would pick our seats and then they would cancel the booking. It right. was either like they weren't going to use a station that day that they had advertised or they needed to change the timings and they would rebook you in like the weirdest seats not even together with your party and so I yeah. would change it and then they would cancel again and same thing they would be like oops this had to change I mean I understand changes but I think we got canceled it was either three or four, four times. times and I had to just scramble last minute to try to rebook get us seats together and all that stuff so Flex bus experience up was pretty good. We only got canceled once, but the Greyhound, oof, oof. So just be aware and be checking your confirmations yeah. and emails if you do go that route, because yeah. it happens. Because like day before, I think we were like sleeping, like the day before yeah. we were supposed to travel and one of our reservations got changed and canceled. Random. So whoops, I think I'm kind of on team, not gonna try the bus again for a while. It was no. cool. The train might be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I'm kind of over the bus. That's just me. I mean, it's a great service. Just mm -hmm. the cancellations were not. Mm. But they did actually end up taking us to the airport yes. because he had to go there anyway, which is what we originally booked, and they canceled on us four times, so it yeah. worked out really he well. He took us there anyway. That was really nice. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, the service, great. Drivers, great. Yeah. Back end booking process is what Not got so me. Good. Anyway, that's it for this series, y'all. Thanks for hanging out for yeah, another Alaska cruise. We are excited to be trying all these new cruise lines in Alaska. Absolutely. Um, that's it, I guess. So, if you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep, and until next time, rock, rock on. on.